Hey Leo, how you doing? I hope you are really well. My name is Diane and we are going to do a love reading for May slash June. But it is a timeless uh, reading, Leo, so you know, whenever you happen to get this is when you were meant to see it. You are very welcome here. Thank you very much for taking the time to check out the reading. I appreciate it very much. And if you feel like, you know, liking and subscribing for me, I would appreciate that a lot too. I also have a new channel out called How to Train Your Caterpillar, which is a spiritual life coaching channel. So if you feel like checking that out for me, Leo, I would appreciate that a lot. The link will be in the description box. And if you've already subscribed to it, I will be posting more videos on there soon. <laughs> um, so let's see who's coming towards you, Leo. Seven of Swords, you're dealing with someone here who has left a situation that sucked. Basically, the Seven of Swords energy, it was some kind of karmic lesson they were dealing with, but they feel like they have absorbed everything that they knew from this person and it's time to bounce, okay? The person may have been deceptive, they may have um, presented themselves in a false manner, something like this. You also have the death card here, so there's been some kind of ending. This person is coming, look at that, the Knight of Cups. They are coming towards you with an open heart, Leo. Coming to, to make you this love offer. They've left something behind to come towards you. Very romantic person, very sweet. Okay, let's see, there's kind of a lot of cards here. Um, right, who is this person coming towards Leo? You have the Empress. So this person is seeing you as their empress or they are showing up as the empress coming in to make a love offer to their empress, Leo. Um, this person sees you as like someone that would be an excellent mother, someone that is very nurturing. You, you know, if this is your divine feminine coming in, you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. They see you as like someone, I'm just going to reshuffle them. I feel like I just dropped half the deck. They see you as someone very nurturing, very calm. You are a very calming influence on this person. They like that you, it's like you give them calm. You give them contentment, that feeling of contentment and happiness. They just love it. They love that feeling that they get from you. Wherever they were before was kind of deceptive. It's very, very different to you. Um, they also see you as like, you know, that kind of Leo energy, like quite regal, you know, divine feminine type energy. Six of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, I'm just going to take the top one, sorry, Ace of Cups. So you have the Six of Pentacles here. This person's coming in to give to you. I feel like you're dealing with, they just want to give you everything. They know you don't need it. Very similar to Aries reading, actually, I think. Um which is not surprising because you're both fire, but they know that you don't need anything from them. Like with the Empress energy, they know you're very independent. They know you're very like in control. You've got everything like sorted. You know, you're very abundant in yourself. Things naturally flow to you. And there's another six underneath that. This person wants harmony with you, right? The Six of Pentacles, they want to give to you. I feel like you're dealing with someone who's kind of a provider type energy. Um, they want to be able to give you nice things. I would say this person wants to spoil you. There's certainly reciprocity, like they're, they're coming in to reciprocate. Um, I think they're a very giving energy anyway, this person. They've just been giving in the wrong place. Now that's often the type of thing, you'll often find that, right, with the Seven of Swords. It's like someone that's kind of taken advantage of you. Like you got yourself sucked into this terrible situation because you're you were too nice or your boundaries were not up. This person has learned their boundaries now. Okay, they know who they want to give to now. You're the type of energy that they want to give to. Okay, you know, like a like an open, nurturing, sweet, very generous nature. Six of Cups here. You know, they just want to be able to give you everything. And the thing is, they think you're really cute. Um, it's it's more it's like they know that you don't need it, but it kind of makes them want to give it to you more. Because they, I don't know, because you're you're not money hungry. You're not grubbing about after their money, or you're not grubbing about looking for attention or whatever. Like they just want to give you more. 
of things. <laughs> like this is going to give you everything. There's a very strong like wanting to look after you energy even though they know you don't need that, okay? Also with the Six of Cups, though, this is an energy of someone that wants to have the happy day-to-day -day life with you. They feel like they could have that with you. They've been somewhere where the day-to-day -day life was not happy. <laughs> um, you know, the Six of Cups is very much an energy of like taking joy in the little things in the daily life. You know, just being happy together, just watching crap TV or like making a dinner together or going for a walk in the park, you know. Just being happy, they just want to be happy with you. They feel like your their happiness lies with you and they just want to be with you. The Six of Swords here, they're ready to move on from like negative energy and just sail off into the sunset with you, basically. Right, who is this person coming towards Leo, please? Who is this person coming towards Leo? Who is coming towards Leo? They might be kind of slow. All right, you have, what came out there? You have the Page of Cups. So it could be a water sign, it could be a Pisces, but they're very sweet. This person is very, very sweet. They kind of wear their heart on their sleeve a little bit. Um, very playful, kind of childlike energy, not childish, childlike. And I, they have a lot of emotions. now. This King of Pentacles is showing up at the bottom of the deck here. Um, all right. So you could be dealing with an Earth sign. So it's like they show up as this King of Pentacles, okay? They show up as this type of um, strong, silent type kind of energy, like, like a provider. They might have a lot of people relying on them. They might have a lot of responsibilities. They might give to a lot of people. They might own their own business but there's some kind of this is what was stopping you guys from coming together i feel like for many of you they might have been with someone when you met but it was a very it was like a monetary thing see how you have the queen the king and the queen of pentacles here and they're facing away from each other you know and you have this three of swords and the devil in between them i feel like they were in some kind of toxic engagement Maybe they were engaged or like long-term relationship or marriage or something that it was it was perfunctory and I feel like it was toxic. I feel like it revolved around money. I feel like it revolved around this person giving the other person money or something like that. But you could be dealing with um, an earth sign here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but they very much have had to in their life show up as this king of pentacles, right? Like looking after people, maybe giving other people money. But they're actually this on the inside, this page of cups. And I think they're very excited about being able to show that side of themselves with you instead of having to be serious at stuff all the time. Because this five of pentacles is wanting to come out. So I feel like this person feels they could not truly express themselves. Like they felt alone, even though they've been in a connection. Um, they felt left out in the cold, you know. Because they always had to show up as this very serious, like, very responsible King of Pentacles type energy. Um, I think this is someone you've been in separation with here, with the Four of Swords. Alright, let's clarify. Um, clarify... This one really wants to come out, so I'm going to put that up there, the Four of Swords. Okay, clarify the Seven of Swords, please. Okay, so this person has been doing a lot of worrying, a lot of overthinking, could be a Gemini, but they're moving away from that now. I think they've really been stuck in their head. Panicking is actually what they just said to me. Clarify the Knight of Cups, please. Clarify the Knight of Cups, please. Very slow moving energy. All right. You have the Emperor. How many have we got? Okay. It's not too bad. It's not too many. So you have the Emperor and the Empress here. Okay. So it's the divine couple, right? This is your counterpart, Leo. This is the one you're meant to be with, right? Um, 
So this person's coming in all leveled up. Okay, they maybe weren't ready before because this is often the case, you know, if you are the feminine, the feminine usually leads the charge in this type of connection, right? And the masculine is kind of, you know, like a little bit running to catch up kind of energy, okay? So this person, um, and if you are the masculine, you swap the roles around from what I'm saying, okay? But this person's all leveled up, coming in ready to offer you their heart, to ready to open their heart up to you. They've definitely been through something. <laughs> this person's definitely been through something. I also see the two of cups poking out here. So this person's seen you as a soulmate, okay? Could be dealing with an Aries. This person is very structured, very logical, very disciplined. Certainly you are dealing with daddy energy or you are dealing with mummy energy. Um, you have both been around the block, you know, in terms of life experience. Like you've both, you've seen things, man. <laughs> like the two of you, you've been through things, you've seen things, you know. Um, you have the emperor is also clarified by the lovers and the sun. So this person's coming in for union. Now with the lovers, um, it's a true love card, but often what it talks about is, well, always what it talks about is two people that before they can come together, they have to drop the ego. So they basically have to drop their baggage. You know, like the things they learned when they were a kid, you know, like maybe they have codependency, maybe you had codependency, maybe you both had to learn boundaries, right? This type of thing. Um, before you could come together, but this person's, they're coming in for union. <laughs> All right, they're coming in for commitment. They are deadly serious, Leo. Clarify the Empress, please. Clarify the Empress. So you have the Eight of Pentacles here. Could be dealing with another, sorry, you're Leo. You could be dealing with, sorry, Leo. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You have the Six of Pentacles clarified by the Star. The Page of Cups clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. So this has been a very slow moving offer. Again, you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Virgo or Capricorn. Clarify that Four of Swords, please. They've been working on this offer for a long time. Eight of Pentacles, you guys might have met at work or you might have met through something like maybe they teach something in the evening or something. You might have met through that or some, some kind of class that you went to. But they've been working on this offer for a long time. This person's a bit of a perfectionist and they feel like they have to give you a good offer because you're like showing up here as the empress or the emperor. They feel like it has to be a good offer. because you deserve the best, basically. This person's coming in to give you your wish fulfillment. <laughs> the Six of Pentacles with the star. This is a reconciliation here coming in, all right? They're coming in to offer you, to give you everything you ever wanted. Like they're coming in to say, like, let's do this. Like, I wanna be with you, let's do this. And you, you also have the Four of Swords with the Queen of Swords here. Okay, let's do a bit, let's do a bit clarifying. So you have the King of Wands here. You could be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They've been kind of spying on you, Leo. They've been waiting for the right time. Um, okay, clarify this Queen of Swords, please. You have the Four of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Two of Cups. Clarify the Seven of... Okay, so they've left behind, 
or they are in the process of leaving behind. I'm not sure which, okay? You have the, the Justice card and the Five of Swords. Now, I want to say, because of the progression here, I want to say that when they come in with this offer, they're going to tell you they've left this other situation behind. That's what I want to say, all right? So you have the Justice card with the Five of Swords, so it could be a divorce. It could be... I'm just going to change the battery, Leo. Hold on. Apology, Leo. So there, it could be a divorce with the Justice card, or it could be a long-term, like they've been in a long-term relationship and they're separating and it's like... The Justice card can often indicate something legal, like they had, I don't know, division of the assets or a divorce or... They had to sell the house or you know maybe they owned property together or something like that whatever it was it was not fun all right i feel like it was something karmic this person was dealing with it was not fun five of swords energy is like manipulation controlling one upping narcissistic energy you know you pour love and you pour time and you pour money into it into it and it's just like a black hole. It's just somebody that sucks this, like, they just suck up your time and your love and you get nothing back. It's very cold. You know, you're dealing with somebody, they were dealing, sorry, with somebody that was very cold and they're just done, you know? So I feel like when they come in, they're gonna tell you that it's done, okay? Yeah, that 10 of pentacles just came out in reverse, so. They're going to tell you that they were in a commitment and it's done. Let's see what you got here. Ten of Pentacles, the Fool. Yeah, they're, they've left something. They're wanting a new start with you. They took this leap of faith towards you. The Hermit. They do think they're worried um, that they've kind of imagined this with you, with the Seven of Cups. And they're a little guarded, okay? It's because it's which is natural because they've been with someone kind of awful that kind of took advantage of them or stole from them even or misrepresented themselves or was just mean to them a lot of the time, like very critical, very controlling, manipulation, this kind of thing, right? So they're maybe just a little sensitive when they get in, Leo, okay? Um, so you have this four of swords, so there's some kind of rest here. Ace of wands. So th this, this separation is coming to an end. Okay. Now, <laughs> they've just told me they're going to need a lot of love. Okay. Ace of Wands, they're going to be very, very attracted to you. This person sees you as their empress or they see you as their emperor. They're very, very attracted to you. Um, so they may come in very hot, okay, in that way. You have the Ace of Wands and you have the Two of Cups here. So this person is, they know that you're their soulmate or this is how they see you anyway and they are so attracted to you. Be gentle with them, <laughs> okay? Um, but they might come in kind of hot and heavy, you know? I just want to see why this... Queen of Swords is here. Why is this Queen of Swords here? This is the person they left behind. This Queen of Swords energy is who they left behind, okay? So they were dealing with a karmic. It was a lesson for them, Ten of Swords. It's ended, or I don't know if it's ended now. This could be something that's happening in the future. So, you know, all I can tell you is that um, when they come in, I, I think they're gonna tell you they've already left the person, all right? So this past energy, you know, it was painful. It was a painful ending. They may have stabbed them in the back, you know? The Queen of Swords, now, in that respect, she's not fun. You know, she's very cold, very calculating, um, very sharp-tongued. You know, this person was dealing with someone very sharp-tongued. I think it was all about money, to be honest. 
So I think this person's gonna need some love, you know? Like, they're showing up as the emperor here, but, um, yeah. You know, they're a very soft energy, and I, I think they just got involved with the wrong person. Aww. Um, how are we gonna, let's see. I don't really know why you're giving me that. Right, let's go into, let's go into some of these bad boys here. Yeah, I am plucking up the courage. They're a little suspicious of you, okay? But that has nothing to do with you. That is to do with like post-traumatic stress disorder <laughs> from the last person they were with. So they're plucking up the courage to come in. The offer has to be perfect. It has to be perfect. I have to get this right. It has to be perfect. I can't mess this up. Marriage, yep. Yeah. This person is deadly serious, <laughs> Leo. Like they're, they're wanting marriage with you. Um, okay, what else? They put you on a pedestal, yeah, they really do, with that Empress card. Let's get one more. I think about you all the time. Um, what else does this person want to say to Leo? Forever love. Oh, this person is so sweet. This person sees forever with you. They are so attracted to you. The attraction is really, really, really strong and they're such a sweetheart. They really are. They're not as confident as they seem. All right, so they're showing up here as this emperor, but they do have confidence issues, okay? I don't know if they had that before they got into this awful relationship. I'm sure this didn't help. I see marriage and children with you. That's two marriage cards. <laughs> okay, let's see what else. Let's get two more from this deck. What else would this person like to, or what, did, what would this, what does Leo need to know about this person? Yeah, you're so hot, they think you're gorgeous. <laughs> this is gonna happen fast. I'm kind of dancing around this issue. Uh, it's not an issue, okay? I'm kind of dancing around it because I want to keep this PG-13, but they are very attracted to you, okay? The Ace of Wands, the Two of Cups, it's, they think you're gorgeous, but there's also a soulmate connection there. There's also the issue that they are wanting love. So they may come in, They. it's not, they're not trying to, <clears throat> Excuse me, they're not trying to be disrespectful. I think this this person is just they're they're just gonna come in kinda hot, okay? Because I think they're just they, they just want that love, basically. Um they just want to feel loved. And because they're so attracted to you anyway, that may be something that happens kind of fast like kind of early on in your connection, okay? Um, but th what they mean as well when they say this is gonna happen fast is like, I think you're gonna be in a connection fast, okay? Like once they've dealt with whatever this is they're leaving and then I think maybe they'll just, I don't know, they might take a little bit of a rest, they might not, they might just come straight in, okay? But it's gonna happen fast. But I do, I do think um, <laughs> that that part of your connection may, may happen quickly, okay? So I hope that this was a useful reading for you, Leo. Many, many thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. I'd appreciate that so much. And don't forget to check out my new channel, How to Train Your Caterpillar. Uh, many blessings, Leo. Love and light.